Hey, what up, guys? Furious Tick here, and um, today we're going to be talking a bit about uh, what happens when you prestige in Black Ops. Um, I know this is a, a question brought around by quite a lot of people. Like, uh, quite a lot of people want to know it, so I thought I might as well release a video just to help you out and uh, give you a couple of tips and stuff about prestiging. Because um, I recently prestiged. I mean, I'm I've got an old game in the background when I'm not prestiged, but now I know everything about prestiging. So I thought I'd let you guys know. Um, so we've got a bit of gameplay in the background here. I'm playing on the map Silo. Mm, Alright map, mm, not really that good, but I don't really mind it. <laughs> I'm using the AK-47 Silence. I've got Ghost Pro, uh, Slight Fan Pro, and Hacker Pro. I'm not sure if, if they're all pro, but um, <laughs> yeah, bear with me. Um, so first thing I'm talking about. The first thing that doesn't change is your lifetime challenges. So if you don't already know, these challenges are... Um, the challenges that go over your career in a lifetime. So, um, for example, one of the challenges get 5,000 kills, you know, get like 500 assists and stuff like that. So they're all quite cool challenges, like um, they'll take you a, lot t a long time to um, achieve. So that's why they um, they stay with you when you prestige. Um, another thing that um, I some, some people might be worried about, I know a lot of people don't really care, and I don't really care about it, but your KD stays the same. Um, yeah, I don't know, some people might want to know that, uh, I'm not really sure, but I oh, just thought I'd say that just because it does happen. Um, your game time, now this is like, um, say like um, on the leaderboard, it's like I've played one day and a half, you know, I've played five days, so when you prestige, it will just add on to the time that you've already played in your last prestige, so that's pretty cool, and uh, yeah, this the AK is a pretty beast weapon, I have to say. Um, I don't know anyone's thoughts on that. Uh, stuff like that. Um, so the stats on your favourite weapon stay the same. Um, I don't know. I think this is pretty cool. Like you can see how many kills you've got with a certain weapon. Look at me getting flashed. Go up here, take out that guy. Quite confused at what's happened here. I'm like a couple of kills away from my kill streaks and uh, plant a claymore there. Yeah, this is a. It's actually a pretty good gameplay, but it, this isn't really about the gameplay. This is sort of. An average, I'm not going to say it's an average game for me, it's a sort of quite a good game, but like, I will be bringing you guys better gameplay, <laughs> and look at that, I like to use the Strela 3, because it's pretty beast at gaining XP, like 150 XP for taking down a, a spy plane, is pretty beast, uh, look at this, I have to pick up this for Mars here, <laughs> um, oh, look, I'm, I'm, I think I'm two kills away from my kill streak now, yeah, I think I've got, I'm using like dogs or something, and I'm like, two kills away, watch this, watch this for, uh, well, sort of fail, but um. anyway. So your favourite weapon stay when you prestige? Look at this, look. Oh, reload, reload. Look, I made a really stupid mistake here. Look, I shoot that guy, and then, oh, I should have just killed that the guy behind him, but, oh, well, those things happen in games. I was on quite a nice streak to start off the game. Oh, yeah, I don't have Ghost Pro, but who gives? <laughs> Try Tomahawk across the map. I like to use the Tomahawk. It's actually all right, but it's... It, I think most people use it as a gimp weapon, just have fun, and um, yeah, I do as well, I mean, it is for fun, but also you can use it seriously, like, I know a lot of people do use it seriously, and I'm just trying to look around for the Shreller, but let's just get on to this, so, um, also, um, I know a lot of people might know this, but some people might not, when you get to 14th Prestige, um, your guns, you can buy gold camo for them, gold camo costs 50,000 COD points, and, um, it's quite cool to have that. When you see someone with gold, you know they're good. So, obviously, I don't have gold. I'm I'm not even prestiged yet in this match. This is quite an old gameplay. I'm now on first prestige level 20. But um, I've only recently got the game, and I'm going to be trying to get to um, like fifth prestige before Modern Warfare 3 comes out. Because I don't really get that much time to play on Black Ops, and uh, yeah. But um, I like, and also another thing I like to talk about in prestige. Um. So on your first prestige, you get an extra custom class, meaning you get six custom classes. Don't know why I didn't just knife that guy. <laughs> I was low on ammo, but who cares? Um, yeah, you get six custom classes the first time you prestige. Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, nice, that was nice. Just talking about a tomahawk earlier, and that was a pretty nice tomahawk. Um, <laughs> please like the video for that, that was insane. Um, yeah, that was pretty good. And um, So on your first prestige, you get six custom classes, and then... You have to get to third prestige to get seven. Um, fifth prestige, you get eight. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's, it's it's like ninth prestige to get nine. But um, I'm not really actually quite sure about that one. If you want to research it, you can. But um, 
it's I'm trying to do the same thing again I did last time. But um, it's quite easy to find this stuff out. Basically, go into your custom classes and look at the empty space, which will be like cust. If you haven't prestige, look at like custom class six, and it should say like unlocked at I don't know prestige one or two or something. It will say that. And um, I've got a little topic I'd like to talk about because um, I've been sort of wondering. Like I've been struggling to know what assault rifle to use. I know there's quite a lot of good ones out there. You know, I know. I think I think everyone knows that like the Glue and the Famas are like the best assault rifles. But to be honest, it's boring really using those assault rifles. Who uses you know? The f I know a lot of people use the Famas, and I don't. I'm I'm not, I'm not hating on that. It's just that I don't really find it interesting using you know not very very powerful guns because it just I don't know. It just you can't really feel good when you get a good score with those kind of guns because it's not really that amazing. But um, I'm using the AK. It's not really very popular. But it is a good gun, and uh, it's an average gun, to say the least. But um, yeah. Um, what? So the question of the day, I'm going to be moving on here. What is your favourite assault rifle in Call of Duty Black Black Ops and every other COD? So you know, I know like a lot of people play COD 4. Like that was like the best COD ever because it was like so balanced and just fun. There was nothing wrong with it. And, like I know a lot of people probably like the AK from COD 4. A lot of people like you know the um, M16 from COD 4. I know a lot of people use that. And um, I don't know. Like, does anyone out there like the M14 or something? Because I've been wondering. Like, does anyone here use the fat the um, FAL all the time? Like, I know like no one really uses it. But like, does anyone here a big fan of the FAL or something? You know, does anyone here use the G11? The G11 is my favourite assault rifle. Well. I like the G11, but something shouldn't be your favourite if it's just um, the best. Like, does anyone like the M14? I mean, you know, I know I know I don't, but like, does anyone here like guns like the M14, um, the Enfield? Does anyone like those kind of guns? Or um, Quad Six? Obviously, I was like the Tar 21. I'm not sure what that was. I haven't really played Quad Six. I'm only on like level 20 on it, but I prefer Black Ops really, and don't hate on that. I know a lot of Modern Warfare 2 fans out there, but I'm really looking to forward to Modern Warfare 3 as well. Like, I'm definitely going to get that, and I know a lot of people are like really waiting for that, but seriously, it's coming out in ages. You know, We're just going to have to play Black Ops for the rest of the time, or find some sort of other good game, because I think the Black Ops community is kind of getting bored of Black Ops. Um, yeah, but like, what's your favourite assault rifle? So what does it... I'm pretty sure there weren't assault rifles in COD 5. I know not really many people play COD 5, but um, does anyone like the M14, the FAL? Is anyone favourite the AK? You know, I really want to know this kind of stuff because I'm I'm struggling right now. I mean, I know a lot of people will say like the Famas, the Galil, like all the best ones, but just be be honest and say what you like because it's pretty cool. So I hope I gave you some info on what happens when you prestige. Um, I'm pr I think I gave you everything you need to know. There's not really much that happens. But it is pretty fun prestiging, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy that. And uh, so the commentary sort of coming down to a close now. Please, please, please like the video and um, leave a comment about um, your favourite assault rifle because uh, I find it pretty interesting. And I will read all the comments and uh, you know take them like you know have a look at what people's assault rifles are. And I might reply if there's like a question <coughs> or something. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. <coughs>